One, two, three. There are nine lighthouses on the Oregon coast, and today we're touring at least three. And the largest sea cave in America, filled with sea lions. We're Zach and Allie, and you're watching Nomadic Habits. Today I'm going to be taking y'all on a lighthouse tour of the central coast of Oregon. That's a tongue, twi tongue twister. <laughs> but today I have somebody very special with me. Look who's off work! <laughs> Welcome to the Yakina Head Lighthouse here in Central Oregon. So fun fact guys, the Yakina Head Lighthouse is 93 feet tall. And it was first lit in August of 1873. It's pretty old. It's not as big as the other lighthouses that I've known, but also we're from the East Coast and our lighthouses are very tall. Their lighthouses here seem to set up on cliffs, so I feel like it can... Yeah, I, I feel like it, the light probably projects a lot more than ours do on the East Coast. <laughs> I envision the movie Ariel was filmed on the coast of Oregon somewhere. Cause you know that scene where she like pushes up and the waves come crashing up behind her? Yeah. That's like, this is the only place I've ever seen that. I feel like that scene could actually happen. Okay, so it's not as magical, but close enough. One more fun fact, guys. This is actually Oregon's coast tallest lighthouse. All right, so no dogs are allowed up by the lighthouse. So we're gonna grab the dogs and we're gonna take them for a quick little walk. Cause I feel like every time I walk with Zach, we walk like this. I don't walk fast. I walk normal speed, you walk slow. So we're at the beach down below the Yakina Head Lighthouse and this is a protected marine life area. They've got tide pools that you can explore and it's actually a cobblestone beach, which is very cool. <laughs> it sounds so weird. <laughs> I feel very uncoordinated right now. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> the view of the lighthouse might actually be more pretty from down here. National Park Ranger said that the tide was going low, but guys, these waves are ginormous! Come on guys, we have more lighthouses to see! Not your typical lighthouse, but the Yakina Bay Lighthouse was established in 1871. It looks haunted. Believed to be the oldest structure in Newport, Oregon, the Yakina Bay Lighthouse is the only existing Oregon lighthouse with its living quarters attached. As the only historic wooden Oregon lighthouse still standing, it was decommissioned in 1874 and has since been restored and furnished with items from its time. This lighthouse is free to the public to tour and sits on 32 acres of land now owned and operated by the state for visitors to enjoy. This lighthouse is very old, very cool but the coolest thing about it is you actually get to tour the inside. Now that we've toured the lighthouse and learned all about its history, we're gonna head to the next location. It is not a lighthouse, but I keep seeing signs for it, and today is the day that we go check it out. lighthouses as we possibly can today on the Oregon coast, we stumbled upon America's largest sea cave and we cannot just drive past it without checking it out. So, so guys, it's $16 per adult to come out to see the sea lion cave and you have two options. You can either take the self-guided elevator tour down to the cave or you can overlook the ocean where you can see the sea lions out on the beach basking in the sunlight. But I think we're going to take the cave. 
down. It was much windier and colder out here than I thought it would be. It was beautiful though. Come on, let's go see the sea lion. Whoa. It literally smells like I just walked into the ocean. was first discovered in 1880 and here are some remains of a sea lion that was discovered back when the cave was first discovered. Right now we're walking up to where we can actually see the lighthouse that we we're going to be going to this afternoon. So we're actually looking at a very distant view of the most spectacular lighthouse here on the Oregon coast guys. We are in Florence and we're going to go grab a late lunch, early dinner, I guess you could say, at the Beachcomber Pub. And guess what, guys? We did all this filming without even mentioning it's my birthday! Yeah, happy birthday! <laughs> wait, wait, don't get. Yeah. Okay. I am so full right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm so full, I'm tired. We're gonna try and catch the last lighthouse of the night yep. right here at sunset. Hopefully it'll be a right sunset because it has gotten a little bit cloudy. It's so. gotten super cloudy. I'm kind of worried. I don't think we're gonna catch this at sunset like we thought we would. Yeah, I think it'll still be pretty no matter what. Welcome to the Hasita Head Lighthouse. It is phenomenal. Especially here at sunset.